Hi, I'm Raju Singh here and uh, here I am with RTM Academy to answer the questions you all want me to answer. I've been more uh, exposed to more Bollywood music right from the beginning because my dad's been into it and all that. So seeing my dad play the bass and everything and Bhupinder Singh, Sunil Kaushik, Ramesh Rayar, Dilip Nagji, of course, how could I forget him? Uh, I've learned from them also. So they, they have been the influences. Plus, if you see from the uh, George Benson from the uh, Western world, George Benson, Al Jamilo, Pakhud um, so John McLaughlin, of course, with Shakti and everything. I think one instrument should be a focus and it definitely makes a difference that uh, you pick up any other instrument. It's, it's a matter of once you have a skill of uh, uh, mastering one instrument to a level, then it's easier to pick up any other instrument because the music content is the same, the beats, the tempo wise, the time signatures, the content, the melodic structures, everything. So it becomes easier. It's only that you've got to get acquainted with the other instrument's uh, physical skill of it. Uh, say even if it's a scale. Ta -ra 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 so I would just make it a challenge for myself that I have to play this five times perfectly without a mistake. And even if I made a mistake in the second time, second repeat, I would say no, it's gone. Your chance is gone. So start again from one again. So just put yourself into that challenge and make this into a game rather than. Um, because then when you manage to do that five times without a mistake, check out that feeling. See, buzzing is something you've got to practice making sure which strings are supposed to be playing open so your uh, left hand finger is not actually blocking the string from having the resonance. That is, you've got to sit down and play each string also and see whether you're holding it right. Initially, you might be holding it too hard just to make sure you're doing it right. But I think uh, it's it's a matter of trying it out, knowing how it's supposed to sound. Once you know that, and I'm sure if you're saying it's buzzing, that means you know it's something is not going right. But that's a way of practicing and holding the left hand perfectly so that you don't block the other fingers. That's a, that's a matter of practicing it right. With my, the food which my mom cooks for me with the ghee soaked parathas and her black dal and everything. No, no comparison to that. But at the same time, um, surely my wife has a restaurant called Just Kerala and we freak out on the Malayali food there, uh, especially on Onam days also. And uh, so basically, we end up putting up more weight because we are testing food every day. <laughs> We were recording in Chennai and uh, had gone to record Chitra Ji actually for the song. And uh, after we did the song and all that, she said, for lunch you're coming home. So we went to a place, uh, she invited us there. So we went there and she showed, this is the place I sit down and listen to my music in the evenings and all that. So you, you sit here today, I'll play you something. And then she showed her favorite albums there. And one of the albums happened to be mine, yeah, which we had done. Uh, Tum Yadai and Tum I, you know, Tum Yadai was Javed Sahib, Alkaji and myself and uh, second one was uh, Tum I, which was Hari Ji, uh, Alka Yagni Ji and Masa Beta, Javed Sahib Gisab. So then she played that and she said, you see, these are this part of my favorite albums, you know, so it's, I felt so nice and she's, I mean like, what a lovely human being, what a lovely sweet person. See, as a composer, what you have to do is be truthful to what that particular work given to you uh, requires, like, you know, to be things which, like if you're doing a score, then you have a scene in front of you. What is it for? What what is it? What does it require? What does the scene say? And uh, what is the director trying to say out of that scene? Sometimes the director 
wanted to say something but it's not come out that way sometimes the directors still wanting to change it over and give it a different tinge to it all these factors affect but even if you don't for a moment okay the director is already explained to you but as a composer you have to think what is this intensity of the scene at one point i really had a fancy for drum machines and all that uh, because my dad used to do a lot of uh, one man show uh, kind of a scenario where you spring the transcord plus the that time the drum machine was called a rhythm box so that happening um so somehow i had the fancy to do that thing so it uh, probably came easy genetically or maybe always seeing him do that so i had a drum machine so i start doing that so start doing that the next step of producing the programming drum machine then came to sequencing and then i felt i'm making my own music everything so frankly speaking i never never thought i would uh, actually walk the path of being a composer because my whole thing was of becoming a musician first and that's what i am today also so composing happened as things evolved because i think more music was being heard all that lucky lucky to have been able to breathe the same air in that room with panchamda and play for him uh then second is uh, his when the when i played the first song for him i was playing the bass and he just came and said just enjoy my song it'll be fine <laughs> don't get nervous so the word enjoy is one which starts from so enjoy the music you'll do something right in that enjoyment and the third one was like uh, hyper observant and it, it was like if he heard a sound somewhere what's that if it fitted into a song he would make sure it was a part of a song so like you know sometimes you just playing something you know you know uh, He was like, "What was that? What was that you played?" So you also don't know what you played because you were just, you know, just. But then you search around. Oh, this 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 phrase. This was nice. Manorida, your second music at end with just before Antara starts. Put this there. Sorry, couldn't happen in three days. <laughs> <laughs>